Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, fellow gamers, welcome back to another episode of GamerCraft. Today, we're flying away from the mountain we built in the last episode, where I also did a little bit of work in between episodes over on stream, if you want to check me out over on stream, it's twitch.tv slash sb0yg, uh, as you can see on screen. Anyways, uh, in today's episode, we have some plans that we need to get done. Starting off with, we're going to build this lovely redstone contraption. This is a rooted dirt farm, designed by none other than yours truly. I already have a spot picked out for it as well, right over here on the edge of our little deserted plain. Now, I did some mining off camera in this shulker box. You can see some of the results of that, but what I really went mining for was redstone. So as you can see we have redstone and now we're going to have enough to actually build up our farm. So without any further ado, let's hop into that time lapse. farm finito done only thing left to do is build the building around it which is going to end up actually being a lot larger than i originally anticipated it would be uh either way uh this is the on switch right here and as you can see uh i have ran it a little bit and uh it works pretty well but it does have its issues there will occasionally be a piece of cobblestone that will get stuck in the system as you can see right now i am uh, going and getting some dirt to 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 fix that problem but uh yeah i ended up putting some in this sh shulker right here to uh some dirt that is to uh fix any cobblestone that's uh this farm is not fully afk -able just for that purpose only really because in theory you could hook up a moss farm and have that running and make the bone meal fully sustainable but uh the piece of cobble that appears every now and again is a uh, not a very fixable problem but if you remember in last episode we had a project that we didn't get around to finishing and that my friends just so happened to be the wither skeleton farm now, we built one of these up on GamerCraft Season 1 World, but frankly, that one sucked because that world was on Bedrock. So this one, this one's actually going to be good. Here at the Fortress, you can see I've already started to do some work. I've done the hardest part, which is getting this man in here, and I really don't want to have to do that again. Now, it looks like the farm's already started to work. There's a man in there. Anyways, uh, I have all the materials set up and ready for us to build this thing. Moss blocks and wither roses. I'll show you how and where I got those in a minute. But we need to replace everything on the ground here with moss and then put wither roses on top. Wither roses, moss, all of that is put in. And the pig man is mad at me because uh, <laughs> I'm not wearing gold. Uh, but all of this is put in pretty much every block. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any. Yeah, uh, not that I can see at least. Anyways, you may, in fact you probably are wondering, where in the world did I get all these wither roses? And you know what, that's a valid question. But, I have an answer for you. That answer is this thing right here. Now this thing... I built up earlier today, and it has caused me a lot of frustration, mainly from this piece of annoying trash right here, which I just had to put back into its place <laughs> because it's fallen out, and I, I've changed the design, so hopefully he won't fall out again. He shouldn't even be able to move because of the carpets. I had to add carpets. This design is by Raiseworks, by the way, who did a wonderful job at designing it. It's actually really good. Uh, it's a really, it's a really nice farm. Yeah, if we fly up here, I'll show you guys how it works. If you couldn't guess already, this is a wither rose farm. Basically, what happens is these idiots, they go up, they fall down, 
and then they get blown up by the wither skeleton skulls. And there's a certain type of skull that can only come from the middle head that, uh, that destroys blocks. And, uh, so we have him lock onto this chicken so he cannot shoot that skull into there and destroy anything. Uh, if, if it wasn't Enderman that we were dealing with, you would just be able to put water right here. Uh, like have them take fall damage up here, push them over, and then water down here to keep the explosion from happening. But they're Endermen, so you know how that works. Anyways, let's hop on back down, and I'll show you guys just how much we've gotten from this. Look at this. We've only been up there for a little bit, and it was basically empty when I came down. Uh, anyways, we can drop these off here. But yeah, this is going to serve as our black deck farm. And this is where we got our wither roses. Now, uh, the portal <laughs> has to be destroyed for that to work. So we have to fly off into the distance into this far off portal way over here. Now that the wither rosing antics are out of the way, we can start work on our collection system. Now, this is going to be basically uh, very, very simple. We're going to have 20 two blocks and we're gonna go down all of those 22 blocks I'm using glass because I have it <laughs> and we're gonna go down all those 22 blocks and hopefully that'll be the perfect amount to uh, to kill these people if I've done the if I've done the correct uh, correct calculations now we've got that in. Now let's build back up and we can put in the fall chamber and actually see if that is enough to give them uh, one hit. Fall chamber and collection system done, but there is one thing you may be noticing and that is a complete... Okay, they spawn at the perfectly incorrect time it's been like 10 minutes with no spawns and then they finally spawn in jeez but you may notice a complete lack of spawns after those guys <laughs> normally this thing would just be filling with them but uh currently if i press that you may notice that inside of our despawn sphere there is an area that is in fact not a soul sand valley and that 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 area is um is lowering our rates by quite a bit <laughs> if we hit f3 and b to show entities you can see uh if they load <laughs> you can see that there is quite a lot over here and as we fly around you'll notice that there is almost none over here. This guy's not adding to the mob cat, by the way. He's just stolen a sword. Anyways, we need to go spawn proof over there. And it looks like we have some friends to kill. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's hop into spawn proofing. You guys can have a nice time lapse of that in three, two, one, let's go. Spawn proofing is complete, and the farm is now 100% done, other than, of course, sorting. But. In here, I have only been here for the length of, like, two, two songs, two about three minute songs, so this is about six minutes worth of stuff, plus there's stuff there already, so I'd say, um, yeah, we're doing, we're doing, uh, pretty good, as you can see, we're getting a lot better rates than we were before, which is already a really good sign so i i would say that that is this farm checked off of our list that is a very good thing i've also just been throwing all the swords over into here to despawn and just cover that up so now that we have the farm complete i say we move on to something else and that something is going to be starting the layout for our eventual base inside of the mountain. That's right, we're going to be building inside of the mountain. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be epic, but 
most of all, it's it's going to be laid out in today's episode. We're not going to build much. We're just going to lay out uh, where the entrance is going to be and kind of just where some of the bigger areas is going to be. First of all, we're going to need blocks to outline with. And that's why I have these bone blocks. I know bone blocks aren't traditionally what's used, but hey, I don't have any colorful sort of blocks to use. So we're going to have to work with these bone blocks. First things first is we have to mark out the area of our storage room. And I want it to be fairly big. So I think from around this corner all the way over to around here-ish, and then do this all the way over to about here. Now, I don't know how big our sorter is going to end up being, or what type of sorter we're going to use, so this, this room may eventually change in size to be smaller, or even bigger, probably not bigger though. So yeah, we got this now. Uh, line this up with that. I did. Good for me. But now that we have this room laid out, we're going to want to move on to another room. And there's a room that I really want to build that might actually look really cool. And this room is actually going to be kind of over, like, dangling over the edge of this. And it's going to be poking out the side of the mountain and it's going to be like an observatory area it's going to look really cool when it's all built up and it's going to be circular because observatories are like that obviously not the final shape of the build because a final shape would look a lot better but i will round it up a bit better is that better maybe move these three like this maybe obviously not the final shape of course but kind of the general area ish next we want to lay out the doorway now the entrance is something that I myself don't really know where to put it I want to put it kind of in this area but I plan to put a waterfall right here so I'm debating on whether to put a waterfall entrance in or to just have it go through here so we can uh, set up a tunnel to go through to the other side or something like that so we can reach our portal or something like that actually you know what this probably is going to be the best spot so we'll move it and we'll put it in right here so this is where our, door our doorway will end up being right there and I'm thinking tunnel that goes all the way through and then kind of in the middle area we have a three by three piston door maybe just right here that leads into the rest of it so let's kind of go mark that out right here ish so we'll have the portal that won't be inside the base but then we'll have our three by three piston door right here do i have any i don't uh we'll have that right there and then that will lead into the rest of the area into like a hallway and then obviously we're just marking out the bigger areas now because i plan to do a lot of this improv because the style is going to be general and basic but the areas that are going to need a lot a lot less improving or a lot more or yeah a lot less improving and a lot more actual planning uh, is what I'm really just marking out now. Like, the doorway actually gonna end up being something that's fairly important. And the doorway over here that comes out, which is probably gonna end up being around this area. Uh, maybe not even there. Uh, probably right here, actually. This is a good spot. Well, uh, there. Yeah, about 3x3. Three three. What's this over here? Is that 3x3? Three three? It's 4x3 something yeah so we want that generally laid out so when we build a road we don't have to move it or uh we won't have to move it very far because i uh do already have a road design picked out but we're not gonna be working on roads in today's episode because um well 
we're almost done with this episode. <laughs> now, you may be wondering why I said almost about to wrap up, and that's because we have one final thing that we need to do in this episode, and that is mine these diamonds. We need to see exactly how many diamonds we got in the mining session in the beginning of today's episode. Well, before the beginning of today's episode. So, let's build a diamond tower. Leave your guesses in the comments down below. I'm guessing two and two stacks of diamonds is what I'm guessing. So leave your guesses in the comments below and let's see how many we end up getting. So we've gotten a stack and 15. So if you get if anybody guessed a stack and 15, then uh then then they win. Anyways, <laughs> uh thank you guys for watching the episode. Hopefully this episode's longer than 11 minutes. That's, that seems to be a trend for my most recent episodes. But we got a lot done in today's episode. We did the, the outlines. We built up this bad boy, this sexy farm. And we tried out a new style of editing. Which, if you guys liked it, please let me go. N go. Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.